watching a recent interview on 78 Sports TV. Shout out to 78 Sports TV for having such a great interview. So we had Deontay Wilder with his trainer Malik Scott, his coach. And they were talking for about an hour. And he pretty much, you know, 78 was asking him, you know, what's your strategy and, you know, what's going on with how did the arbitration play out? So he pretty much broke it all down and how he's feeling and and pretty much putting a distinguishing all of the rumors about him being depressed and all this other stuff. And my man Wilder came out and was like, yo, this is yo man, I'm 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 going I'm going to decapitate him, bro. This is gonna be a a, a licensed homicide. <laughs> You know, in the past, he'd been talking about he wanted to catch a body on his record. You remember that? And people was all upset. And I'm like, bro, this is boxing, man. Stop getting your panties in a bunch, man. You know, this is probably one of the only, this is like one of the only sports that you can really le legally kill somebody in the ring, though. You know, so ain't not getting trouble for it. With all things considered, you know, uh, you can't really blame the man for feeling how you feel, you know. So, <laughs> hey, and then... <laughs> After he said that, you know, he had the uh, the people that don't like Wilder, the Wilder haters or whatever, they was in a frenzy. They was upset, talking about, he talking about he want to kill him and he going to decapitate him. It's going to be a legal homicide. But just the other day, before Wilder even made that video, you heard Tyson Fury get on TV and online and talking about he want to crack uh, Deontay Wilder's skull. So... You can't be mad at Wilder for what he said when your boy Tyson Fury be running around tomorrow, he gonna crack somebody's skull. Can't you kill somebody by cracking their skull? So, I mean, all right, cool. So you wanna crack his skull and he gonna decapitate you. So I guess it's gonna be a war. Somebody gonna die in that ring. Am I advocating for that? No, but you know what? Listen, man, this is boxing. And when you got people, these two got bad blood. So you got bad blood like this. Somebody gonna get hurt in this fight, bro. I, I really see somebody get hurt. Hey, listen, the way I see why look, they said the man built the fucking compound just to train for this shit, bro. Just to 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 take this dude Tyson Fury's head off, man. If that's the truth, and you know what I mean, that's that's dedication, man, if you ask me. So here's my here's my suggestion man for john fury i suggest you go pick out a nice black suit pick out a nice casket whatever it is and pick the chapel man because i think your your, your, your son is gonna get hurt bro and if like i said so if it's anything to this cheating thing which i think it might be and a lot of people are starting to see it and I think Deontay Wilder and a lot of the other people feel the same way and they know something. Hey, man, look. That's why you feel the way you feel, John, about your son getting back in that ring because you know what time it is. It's only a matter of time, baby. And um, sometimes, man, when people get beat in fights or they go through something in the fight, they learn from it and it only it only strengthens them. It strengthens them. And so, you know, like when... Those kickboxers, when they uh, when they practice kicking on the bamboo tree, you know they fracture their shin bone. And what happens is, and people wonder how are they able to keep kicking the tree without breaking their leg or hurt? Why does it not hurt them? It's because after taking those fractures, and they keep doing it over and they keep practicing on it, it starts to form a cal. It starts to calcify in a sense and. It make it makes it even harder, and that shit almost damn near. They don't feel it, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, it strengthens their shin bone because they had to go through fractures first, and that's the same thing with Deontay Wilder. I think, man, this shit could have did something to him, made him even more of a dangerous individual, man. So he had to go through that storm with Tyson Fury. To, to make him even more deadlier than he already was, man. You can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want about him not having boxing fundamentals and all that, but, hey, it worked for him all this time. And if he could add a little bit more to the game, which which 
a lot of people is saying his his training is nothing to be proud of because he still looks wobbly and his legs still ain't in the in the right places and the way his head is, he's not moving his head as much. Yo, listen, man. As I said before, maybe that's just that's his limits, bro. That's just the way he is. That's how he stands. That's how he trains, bro. You can't change everything. All you can do is tweak whatever you got and make it better. Something to think about. Hey, man, I can't wait for that fight. Man, they better have an ambulance on the side. They better have a stretcher. They better have an EMS ready at the go. Because this might not even go past five rounds, man. Interesting, man. Hey, I think, yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Tyson Fury, homie. Hey, you dug it yourself, man. You dug your own, you dug your own hole, man. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about it, though. Like and subscribe, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace.